Hey, what's good family? This video is just a real quick tutorial. In this video, we are going to be focused on how to find fair value gaps. Now, when it comes down to it here, let's actually look at something like a Tesla. Let's go over what is a fair gap value gap. A fair value gap is just a gap between candles. So there are gaps such as this, like right here, if we look at this candle and this candle right here, this candle ends, the edge is right here at about 264, and then it just jumps up here. So this right here, this is a regular gap. All right, so that's a gap. And then whenever we have a fair value gap, so there's actually a lot right here, but when you look at three candles in a row, usually there is going to be a gap until the two there. Usually there's going to be a gap so here. Here, let's, uh, let's draw an example. So here, let's say we got a candle right here Here, let's make that a little darker. So yeah, let's say we got a candle right here. Another candle right here. And then the other candle kind of comes right here. The gap, the fair value gap is going to be from right here to right here because these two candles aren't connected here. Let's actually drag that down. But these two candles have not met. They're not connected. So a fair value gap for these or a fair value gap is going to look like this. So if you just drew the line, that's the bottom of this candle. This is where the gap is. And then the top of this candle is right here. Now this isn't a regular gap. It's not really, really a gap. It's not like a, it's not a regular gap like this over here where there is not even a single candle that meets right there, but it's a fair value gap because the value of this candle, the only thing, the only way these candles really meet is through this candle right here. You would essentially want, at least want like some kind of wick to come down and like maybe make contact with this over here. If there, were, if this had a wick going through it, let's move that over a little bit and make it look a little better. Oh, I guess not really gonna work like that. But if this had a wick going through it and that wick came all the way down here, this fair value gap would not exist. But because there is no wick and because this candle right here and this candle right here don't have any pricing in relation to each other, there is a fair value gap. So if we look at this chart with Tesla, here, we'll leave that up for now. But if we look at this chart with Tesla and look for fair value gaps, you can see, for instance, there is a fair value gap right here from, from here to Let's see, there is to right here. So yeah, that's one fair value gap from here to here. There's actually a gap down from this to this right here. And then, yeah, pretty much here, yeah, let's actually, uh, we'll draw our, we'll color our fair gap value gap screen right now. So yeah, you got a fair value gap right here. And you actually get from there to there. And then if we were to look from this candle to this candle, we got an even bigger fair value gap. Just to kind of draw it in for you. So yeah, we got one right there. So yeah, you can take one from right here up to here. That's another fair value gap. Be from there to there. And, and essentially the value when it comes to looking at fair value gaps and identifying fair value gaps, I'm gonna let you know I don't personally look as much at fair value gaps. I like more of the gaps like these. The reason that these are so important or the reason that people are attracted to these is because if, if there is a gap in the market, 
it's going to come back. It's, it's always at some point going to come back and get filled. Like, for instance, I was looking at this morning. There was there's been a gap on the queues. So you're not. You won't see it on the weekly, but on the daily chart, there's been a there's been a gap up to this about. I guess this 943 area down to 487. And that's something I've been watching ever since what this happened July 16th. We got down and we finally came in and fully closed that gap. We closed the daily gap this Friday, but actually if you go to a four hour, the gap was actually from about 495 and we finally filled that today. So in my eyes, we actually finally had permission to really go down if we want to go down so yeah that's a quick little lesson on fair value gaps that's how you find fair value gaps to me fair value gaps aren't going to be as important as just like if you see a regular like wide open gap for instance this gap right here you're typically going to, typically going to see a larger gap get filled sooner or usually if you see a fair value gap, there is usually some kind of gap on a smaller time frame or larger time frame that you can pay more attention to as opposed to focusing on this fair value gap. But I just wanted to make this video just so you know what fair value gaps are and so there's not as many questions floating out there about them. If you found this video to be helpful or learn anything, be sure to smash the like button if you haven't already taken advantage of it, hey, be sure to get your 15 free stocks when you sign up using the little link down below in the description. And, and, and if for some reason you made this far and you aren't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any content or streams. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.